Welcome to On the Prowl. I'm your host, Nyla Moore, and with me today is the coach of the Destrehan Wildcats, Coach Steven Robichaux. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thank you, Nyla. Coming up on today's show, Coach Robichaux will break down last week's game against the Slidell Tigers, and we will get Coach to preview this week's game against the Woodlawn Panthers. So, Coach, do you think you had more time to prepare for the game because of the weather delays? I don't think you had uh, more time to prepare, actually, but, you know, it was just a uh, a crazy night, you know, because we didn't predict that that forecast. Um, uh, Any time you have adversity as a, as a team, it just really is a coach's nightmare. You know, we're we're set on how we do things, and uh, and to go in and get ready to go out for pregame, and they tell you that there's lightning around, and you have to sit there for for two hours. It was kind of kind of nerve wracking, but uh, our kids did a tremendous job handling it. Uh, really excited about the way our, our, our coaches and our players handled the delay. Um, they, they did a phenomenal job, and, and, and starting the game two hours later was, was definitely uh, something that I've never been involved in. But uh, our kids did a tremendous job, and we ended up getting a win, so I was excited about that. What do you feel your team's strengths were at the beginning of the game? Well, I, I think that, uh, you know, our, our guys offensively got out to a strong start. Uh, I thought uh, we moved the ball well. Uh, I think that's going to be key for us. Uh, uh, defensively, we played well early, but uh, kind of had some breakdowns a little bit later. But uh, I thought we got out the gate pretty quick. I thought we kind of kept a, you know, a couple of scores ahead of slide down. I think that was important for us to do, uh, especially with the adversity that we went through that day. Quarterback Cohen Grigny connected with receiver Justin Jefferson for an early touchdown, making the score 6-0. and How do you feel about the connection? Uh, I tell you, Justin has, has done a tremendous job for us. You know, uh, two years ago it was uh, John Williams and Alfred Smith and all them guys, and Justin came up and we just had quietly we was getting better and better. This year everybody was talking about Mike Young, and, 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 and boy, I tell you, Justin has just, just really worked himself into a phenomenal athlete. Uh, he's going to be a D1 prospect. Uh, he, he grew to about 6'2", uh, 180 pounds, and strong hands, and he goes up and catches the ball. And it, it really, where we play him, it, it puts a lot of the guys in, 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 a lot of, in a bind because we're asking smaller guys to play against a big physical receiver like Justin, and, and he's just done a tremendous job, and he just got better and better every year, and I think the sky's the limit for him. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. Big sack here by Jay Stroud. He's Jace is just really tremendous rushing the passer. Did a good job. Here we're getting good pressure again. Got a good hustle by number 21, Champ Craven from the free fit safety spot. There's that connection you're talking about. Justin does a great job coming back for the ball. Big catch for us early in the game. That's what I'm talking about. They got to cover just one on one, and uh, he's just so big and so physical that it's tough for guys to do that. It's a big play for us. Get a good snap here by their their uh, center, and they, uh, he ends up throwing the ball out of bounds for grounding. So we end up getting the safety and uh, big play for us right there because we missed the extra point earlier. So it worked out real well for us. I tell you. Christian Mosley is so explosive. He's, he does with his speed and his power. He does a tremendous job. There he goes. He's become such a, a, a good running back. You know, last year he was a track guy running football. Now he's a, a true running back. Does a tremendous job for us. Bradley Quinn coming out, connected, couldn't score. He comes up, makes a good field goal for us. Puts us up. As that connection again, Justin goes up so high and gets the ball that's thrown on his back shoulder. Just a tremendous catch. Great throw by Cohen. And there goes Mosley again. So explosive. He had over 250 yards rushing, and, and our other running back had 130, so we had a great night running the football. Defense playing well, getting to the quarterback. Tariq Rogers making a big play right there. Justin again, it's just hard to cover because of this frame. Go back to him. Great catch. Get in zone for a touchdown. Good 
Great job by Jay Stroud. Just does a tremendous job for an undersized D lineman. I tell you, just a great football player for us. Here's a guy you're going to hear a lot about, John Emery, sophomore, just smooth as can be, just going to be a great player for us. D lineman getting to the ball, Jabril Fields, Karan Webb making a big sack right here, right before half. So, Coach, when you saw how your team played after the first half, did you expect them to keep the lead? Well, you hope so. I mean, I thought we played well. Uh, you know, last year uh, we were kind of concerned because last year Sl Slidell came back. We were up by 28 at a uh, half or a little bit after half last year, and they came back and, and made it a pretty close game. I think it ended up 33 to 26, 28. Um, so, we're, you know, that was always a concern for us. Uh, we, it's a well-coached team. They do a good job. Their kids don't quit. So we knew that we would have to come out in the second half and play. Uh, by no means did we think the game was over because uh, uh, Slide has done a good job in the past. So uh, uh, we just asked the kids at halftime to stay focused, do the things we got to do uh, to be successful. And I think offensively we came out and did that. Returning receiver Michael Young hasn't been in the past few games. When can we expect him back on the field? Mike hurt his thumb last, uh, last summer at LSU, and uh, he was getting cleared from that, and uh, he was going through a routine x-ray, and he found a, a, he had a little pain in his wrist, and he ended up having to have surgery on it. So uh, we thinking that uh, we could get him back in the next couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we don't want to push it. Obviously, Mike's a big-time receiver, and we never want to push any of our kids to come back before they're ready. But, uh, uh, you know, we expect him maybe in the next couple of weeks to be ready to play, and uh, he's... He's chomping at the bits because he's a, he's a great player and he's a, one of our great leaders. So uh, we're kind of excited about the possibility of getting him back in the lineup. Let's take a look at the second half highlights. It's John Emery again. Great, great. I mean, that's Christian just going through the hold. Our offensive line was a tremendous job. Christian with an 80-yard run. All because of those big fellas up front. Dakota Torbert, Jacob Rouser, Chase Camino, Sam Matthews, Elijah Hayes all do a tremendous job up front and giving them time to run, a, I mean, throw the ball in, making holes for running back. What a great run here by a little sophomore. I mean, geez, and that's just incredible determination. And he continues to, to get better every, every day, every week. He's going to be a great player for us. Phenomenal run here by, by Mosley. He runs that misdirection play so well. It's kind of hard to, be, to bring him down and just, just relentless is getting it to the end zone. Jay Stroud again, he's just so tough to block. Then we get a good play by Alex, who's our sophomore linebacker, tips the ball, and uh, Justin Jefferson um, had him playing a little free safety there, and he come up with a big interception for us to kind of seal the game. It's John Emery again. What is it you think your team worked on the most in preparation for this game? Well, I, I don't know if we did it, uh, worked on the most. I just think every time we go out at practice, you know, we have the same philosophy. We're just going to get better every day. Uh, we took it, what we looked at on film and thought we can exploit some things against Slidell. Uh, obviously, our offense coordinator, Coach Bourne, did a phenomenal job of doing that, uh, by putting up 45 points. So, so the kids work extremely hard. Defensively, we went back to fundamentals. We had a tough night against, uh, against uh, Lutcher, so we kind of went back. And, and, and although we held them to 23 points, we still didn't play well on defense. So we just got to continue to get better, continue doing the, the little things. And I think uh, we got a chance to be a pretty good team if we can continue to get better. Even with the 45 to 23 win, was there ever a point in the game you thought that it was a struggle for your team? I, I, I think it was, a, you know, it wasn't, you know, to the late third quarter before it was actually out of hand. So I thought, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, we had to be prepared to, to continue to stay in the game, remain focused, and I thought our kids did that. You know, we did get a little bit of a bigger league, but our kids continued to play well, and, and that's all you can ask for them. How do you feel about winning the first game going into the season? Well, it's better than the alternative, I guess. Okay. But uh, we're, we're excited to be 1-0. Uh, but, you know, as, as a, a coach, you, you're always looking at how we can be better. And, uh, you know, you're coaching the uh, kids and, uh, and uh, love this group. I think they're a good group of kids. But, you know, we just got to get better and better every week. And uh, hopefully we can win a few games. Thanks, Coach. Coming up, we'll get Coach to look ahead at this week's game against the Woodlawn Panthers. We'll be right back. It's the beginning of the new year and time to start with those resolutions. What better way to start than with the Get Fit United Way program? In this program, participants go through 12 weeks of training and eating healthier. But what really goes on during that time? On the first day, participants meet with their trainers and receive their 24 hour access keys for Anytime Fitness. From there, they go through a one hour health class, two days of boot camp, and a day of group gym training during the 12 weeks. After the end of the 12 weeks, everyone who participated receives discounted Anytime Fitness memberships to continue their training. Welcome back to On the Prowl. I'm your host, Nyla Moore. What are some of your thoughts about Woodlawn's team as well as their defense? They, you know, offensively, they have a really good uh, scheme. Uh, they do a good job uh, coaching them. Coach Daniel Luquet used to be at Destran, so we know he's going to be real, real prepared, prepared. His kids going to be real, real prepared, and uh, we got to make sure that we're doing things to, to make sure that we sound on defense to be able to stop them. They have a real good running back, uh, senior running back. His last name is Myers. He does a tremendous job. Quarterback does a good job getting the ball out. Receivers, probably one of the, the best as far as catching the football. They'll go get it. They'll do a tremendous job. So we got to make sure that we're ready to play. Obviously, uh, I think they've done a good job. Defensively, that they run to the ball. They, they got some, some bigger guys up front that do a good job. Uh, so, uh, you know, we, we're going to have to really come with our A game. And, uh, you know, it's all. You know, we did travel for the Jamboree, but it's our first road game, per se. So uh, that's going to be also something you think about. So, so uh, you know, we got to prepare, uh, have a great week of preparation. You know, we had a good practice yesterday, and hopefully we can come back again today, have another, and, uh, and uh, by the end of the week we'll be ready to play. So do you think you're going to prepare any differently since it's going to be an away game? I don't think so. You know, uh, we go out every, every day to, to get better and, and uh, you know, we just prepare for, for that team. But uh, as far as what we do, we're not going to do anything differently. Uh, it's been working for us, so we're going to continue to do that. Uh, you're just going to do stressing more fundamentals early in the year and, and, uh, and kind of worry about getting, uh, getting our kids better and then take it go from there. Always a pleasure talking to you, Coach. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that will do it for this edition of On the Prowl. For updates on Press Play Productions, make sure to check out our website at PressThePlay.tv. I'm your host, Nyla Moore. Thanks for watching.